For thank me not, Lord, Lord, my God. God. Be not far from me. me. Make haste and come to my help, O Lord, 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 my strong strong salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service, grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, if there is any encouragement in Christ, any service in love, any participation in the Spirit, any compassion and mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart, thinking one thing. Do nothing out of selfishness or out of vainglory. Rather, Humbly regard others as more important than yourselves, each looking out not for his own interests, but also everyone for those of others. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial song. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor are my eyes haughty. I busy not myself with great things, nor were things too sublime for me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Nay, rather, I have stilled and quieted my soul like a winged child. Like a winged child on his mother's lap, so is my soul within me. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. In you, O Lord, I have found my peace. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. On a Sabbath, Jesus went to dine at the home of one of the leading Pharisees. He said to the host who invited him, When you hold a lunch or a dinner, do not invite your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your wealthy neighbors in case they might invite you back and you have repayment. Rather, when you hold a banquet, invite the poor, the crippled, the lame, the blind, Blessed indeed will you be because of their inability to repay you, for you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. Good morning. This morning in my prayer, I had a little insight. When I would read this passage, I would think of me as the one doing the inviting. Then this morning in prayer, I realized I am the invited. God is inviting me and you to a banquet, this, the Eucharistic banquet. And he invites us who cannot repay him for what he is about to present us in himself in the Eucharist. Instead, as I reflected, I realized I am the blind, the lame, the crippled, and the poor. I am blinded by my own selfishness and my own ability to understand exactly what I am about to receive. I'm blinded to why I'm here sometimes because I don't truly 
understand it. Uh, and that's the Eucharistic mystery. And we don't see as... We only see the appearances of bread and wine, but the idea of the body and blood of Christ is something we accept in faith. I am the lame and the crippled. I am lame and crippled by my own sins, my own weaknesses that prevent me from standing a wreck in the sight of God. I must be hunched over with guilt and shame for what I have done in my past. I am the poor, spiritually poor, lacking in grace needed every day just to get through today with a Christ-like heart. As I was reflecting about all of this, I realized, yeah, I'm, I've am i been looking at it wrong. I'm the person that should be coming here on my knees thanking God for this moment. And yet, do I? Do we? I'll just leave you all to ponder that. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family in faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for our Holy Father, for our Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, and seminarians. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day. We remember those in hospitals, nursing homes, the homebound and the homeless. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for our dearly beloved whose names are upon this altar and for all those who have died during this beautiful no month of November. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray for the needs of our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video and for the needs of you here present in this chapel this morning. For all these needs, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. And we pray this Mass asking the intercession of the infant of Prague to watch over the finances of our parishes. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. <clears throat> Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed Blessed be God, God forever. forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, by our good and good of all his holy church. May these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, become for you a pure oblation, and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Father, most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word, through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and the saints, we declare your glory. As with one voice we acclaim, Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God of hosts, 
heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew falls, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. And at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. <clears throat> Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter unto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. You will show me the path of the life. 
Their father is so troubled, they will have friends with us. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. <laughs> may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Prayer to St. Michael for our families. Holy Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and the snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits who wander through this world seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The divine praise of protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed, Blessed be God. God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be His most sacred heart. Blessed be His most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the consoler. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary most holy. Blessed be our holy immaculate conception. Blessed be the glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, virgin and mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, our most chaste spouse. Blessed be God, his angels and his saints.